right, we've got to start cleaning this interior, which is long overdue. I've already got everything ripped out, the seats, uh, all the panels, carpet, all that good stuff. So, uh, it took maybe like 30 minutes. Luckily, Hondas are pretty easy to take apart. So, let's look at what we got and what we're going to be doing to it. Okay, so what we got. Everything off too much. Clean all this up. There's our panels, everything's really dirty. The seats are. And the carpet's the worst, but this has got a lot of spots on it. This driver's seat's pretty bad too. Got a little bit of tan interior. Vacuum this up. First time I do, I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna use this one as a test. We're gonna put some proper power on it, scrub it, let it sit a little bit, and we're gonna hit it with pressure washer. Power here. so far so I've got all the door panels clean as you can see they came out really good this one was the worst by far still a little dirty there but huge improvement okay um, definitely got to do the center console you can tell how dirty this thing is but I uh, still got to do this back seat here you can tell it's got some spots on it's really not too bad compared to the rest I've already done all these panels they came out really good so as you can tell um, today I'm going to be working on these uh, seat belts so, and they've, they're really bad this one got I think chocolate milk spilled on it the same as that back seat the lower part so but the worst is probably the uh, kind of tell the driver's belt here, just how black it is. So definitely gonna get this cleaned up. So got the carpet back in. The carpet came out really well. Obviously, there's some spots like some burns and stuff that won't come out, but um, as bad as this carpet is, man, I'm really surprised it came out this nice. It had a lot of dark spots on it, a lot of spills and stuff like that, but but yeah, it came out really good. Still gotta do this seat. I had to take this back panel off to get the rear seat belts out, so you can tell how dirty this is, so we're definitely gonna clean this up. As well as these back, these seat pillars, you can tell how dirty they are. So this seat's a little dirty, but it's not too bad. The worst was for these seats. This is the bottom for the rear. This is the one that really had not a bad staining on it, and it came out really well. And the driver's seat was really bad too. Just had it was really dark. And uh when I used to drive this car every day, uh, I'd be really dirty when I left work. A lot of it would transfer over to the uh, seats here, but man, it came out really well. So, now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the rest of the interior here. So, um, so what we're going to be using is uh, Purple Power, a little bit of Purple Power, some Awesome, 
um, scrubbing and just uh, hitting it with a pressure washer. So let's go and get started with it then. Um, so, so what I'm going to do with the seat belts, I'm going to pull them out and uh, I'm going to cover up the electrical part of them and the retractor part. I'm going to uh, steal that up in like a plastic bag, tape them closed. The way no water gets in there and damages that, but we're just focusing on the belt webbing itself. So I'm going to extend those out, then, um, you know, hit them up like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started on it. Got everything kind of laid out here. Even though these aren't that dirty, you can still tell what parts were, like this piece was covered up. This piece was exposed, so tell the difference in the shade. Can't really tell. The seat belt's the worst. So I'm going to hit these with some proper power. Let it sit for a few. Scrub them down. I'm going to hit them with a pressure washer. wash and I'll probably get most of this stuff off but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scrub it real good then we'll come back with a pressure washer and knock it out and I think it's gonna be a big difference on it. so we can put it all back together but uh, let's go ahead and check out the progress we've made so far on it okay so of course one of the worst things was the seat belts so you can see just how clean they came out I'm really happy with these see they all came out really good I'd say probably about 95 percent and the ones there's one that still had a little bit on it I think this one right here, you still see a little bit here, but I'm very confident that if I would have went one more round on it, I could have got all that out as well, but I'm really happy with how they turned out, so I'm just going to run with this. And I've, let, yeah, I've set these out in the sun for about the past, like, three or four hours. Probably about the past three hours, and they've completely dried now, so you want to make sure you let these completely dry before you retract them, because you don't want them uh, getting moldy and smelly, so... Make sure you leave them out, let them thoroughly dry first. Um, but yeah, these are pretty much ready to go back in. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, the seats and some of those interior pieces we were working on. See, it really wasn't that bad, but and it's still drying. So once it dries, it'll lighten all the way to rest out. But 
though it had a lot of staining down here on this corner, but I think it looks really good. These pieces, again, don't need to thoroughly dry, but um, you can no longer see that line of the dirty to clean. Same way with this, still drying, but really happy with how this turned out too. Plastics look really good. Got some dirt on it, well, blew some dust on it there, but it's come out really good again. Once this dries, it'll be good to go. So, all right, so we're pretty much done with the interior. Got basically everything put back in, minus the door panels, because uh, got to wait till we get done with the uh, exterior of the car, so I can put the handles and all on before I can put the door panels back. But let's go ahead and look at what we got so far. The lighting in here isn't the best, but hopefully we can get a decent look at it. All right, so yeah, the seat's cleaned up really good. These dark spots are mostly just uh, shadows. But carpet came out really good. So we got to do some final cleaning here and everything, but so far everything looks pretty good. Biggest difference is these uh, these seat belts came out really good. So you can. So obviously that was one of the worst things was the belts. They look as close to brand new as you can get. Yeah, you got pretty much all the staining out of the seat here. Again, the back belts here were really bad, especially um, this one. Or maybe it was the center one. But yeah, it looks really good. So yeah, I'm really happy with how everything came out in the car. Everything cleaned up really good. Uh, had about 10 years worth of dirt and just uh, stains and stuff. And all that came out. Uh, I don't think I could ask for any better for it. Especially with the, uh, given the little bit of time I put into it. Maybe, you know, three or four hours really. I'm not including the uh, drying time. So... You know, for the not a bad little project. So yeah, the interior wasn't too bad, but this method works really good regardless of how dirty it is. I've seen this work on some really bad stuff. So, so yeah, if you got any uh, questions or anything, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you on it. Also, go ahead and subscribe. Got a few more videos coming up where we're going to be finishing up the car, so make sure you stick around for that as well.